In this video, we're going to find the test statistic and p-value for a hypothesis test for the mean using t-statistics and stack crunch. That was a lot to say. Okay, so we're going to do number four. So it says a sample of 46 coyotes had a mean age of 2.05 years with a standard deviation of 0.82 years. It is thought that the population mean age is 1.75 years. D does the sample data indicate that coyotes tend to live longer than 1.75 years? All right, so in this problem, we're given the sample standard deviation, and that's how we know to use T statistics. So what you do is in StatCrunch, over here where it says stat, you left click on that, and then you go down to T stats. And we have one sample, so we go to one sample, and we go to with summary. So I'm going to go ahead and left click where it says with summary. Then we have to enter all of the information. So we go back and carefully read the question. So a sample of 46 coyotes, so that's the sample size. So 46 had a mean age of 2.05 years, not a very long time to live. So we go to the sample mean, that's 2.05. And sample standard deviation of 0.82. So that's 0.82. And again, you know it's the sample standard deviation because it says it, right? You see the word sample and standard deviation in the same sentence. That's how you know that it's the sample standard deviation. Here, where it says hypothesis test, we have to figure out what goes here. So if you look at the last sentence, does the sample data indicate that coyotes tend to live longer so because it says longer, we change this to greater than. And we want this to say greater than 1.75 years. So you just take the 1.75 and you put it in this box. So again, longer than tells us to pick the greater than symbol. And the 1.75 goes in this box here. Then you click compute and we should have the answers. So let's see. We have the test statistic. It says T stat. So T is equal to 2.48, that's our test statistic, and the p-value is 0 0.0084, so the p-value is equal to 0 0.0084. Let me go through it one more time really quickly. You go to stat, t, one sample, with summary. You read the question, you type all these numbers in, and the last sentence usually tells you what to do here. So it says longer than, so we change it to greater than, and then we put the 1.75 in this box over here, so 1.75. I hope that video made sense.